everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire 3 lineup and they do come with an iCore 3, iCore 5, 10 gen CPUs. And if you want to know the exact model for this laptop, the model number is an N19C1. But if you want to know, you want to go to the website see what component exactly they have, the internal model number is an A. 315-56-38TB and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up how you can replace the battery this video applies for any Acer Aspire 3 A315 series so it doesn't have to be this big huge uh, model number exactly this applies for often some of them could be an AMD or Intel but the replacing of the battery or opening them are the same all right to get it started, first thing you want to do, you want to power off the laptop completely. I'll leave the link for all the tools that I use and the battery if I can find one. I'll leave it in a video comment. All right. What do you want to do? You want to grab the Phillips number one from the screwdriver set that you have. I always use the iFix screwdriver set. And you will need an opening tool. If you get a purchase, the Pro set. You will get an opening tool, but if no, you can grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic one are really, really suitable to opening covers. Next, you want to remove all the screws on the bottom case here, including the one in the middle. Go ahead and remove them. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my content and if my content is helping you guys to do your own upgrade or repairs, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It would give it motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer questions in the comment area. All right, once we remove all the screw, simply what you want to do here, grab the opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And all you need to do is just twist it out, just like this. Remove, bring it up. You want to do the same thing on the sides, all the way to the back corner, to the left and right side. If you hear a big clicks, that's fine, that's what you want to hear those clicking sounds. To the back end. All right, and now the bottom cover comes out pretty easy. All right. Once you have it here, the battery is right in front of you and it will tell you Acer model name. If you wanna know the exact model name, is an AP19B8K or K. All right, it doesn't have to say Acer, you can put an off-market battery as long as there are lithium batteries, you're fine. You can, uh, I'll try to find the link for this one. The battery connector is right over there. Uh, you have to remove this gaffer's tape right here. Put it to one side. To disconnect the battery, you have to pull these two triggers. Put your finger on the side of the triggers right here and pull it towards the battery a little bit hard evenly and the jack will come out pretty loose. And next thing is to remove the battery. There's only two screws holding it in place. One right away here on this side and one right on the other end of the lab uh, battery once you remove these two just lift up the battery and bring it up and that's it that's how you replace there's a one two three cell batteries in here but i don't know why there's only two positive that means there's a two cell and they're sharing one cell i'm guessing so there's a clearly noticeable three polymer cell battery with a two positive, two negative terminals, so that will make it two cell battery. I wonder how it's the charge port here. Anyway, so let's say that you got the new battery in, all you need to do is to first put it on the off position. You might not have a gaffer's tape in here. You can tape it down here. What you wanna do, you wanna make sure these connectors, jacks right here, there's an exposed jack has to face down and the soft white cover on the top has to face the ceiling so you don't want to put it upside down you want to make a short 
or just remember the red is closer to the ramp the red cable positive is towards here and the black cable the ground towards the mechanical towards the fan but if so you bring it evenly towards the jack you don't want to put it sideways in evenly put it in and then push it towards the inside the jack once you are in there now you can sit down the battery even with a nice tidy space jam the cables right there grab some gaffers tape or don't put an electrical tape that would be really disgusting grab some gaffers tape and put the two screws one on each side of the battery there we have it once you got the again if you want to know the bios battery this is the bios battery in this BIOS batteries are pretty much the same thing as this battery. These are CR2032 batteries with a cable soldered on each side of them coming going to this jack. If you want to disconnect this battery, this jack just put, the same way that you remove the jack for here, you can pull this one out and the BIOS will get reset within short amount of the time. You want to reset the BIOS, disconnect this one, disconnect this one and then short put a screwdriver right in a connector hold it there for to five to ten seconds and it will reset the bios if you have any password set on the bios and you forgot so to do it it's removing this and shorting it right in there holding it for five to ten seconds is the same thing applies on the motherboard for the pc is the same thing so the reason we shorting it is to empty the capacitors that is holding the memory for the BIOS. All right, now let's push back down this jack, put this tape on top, and plug in that one in there. And the last thing is to put the cover on top. And to finish it up, you want to squeeze the corners. And if you see any gaps opening, just pinch them and grab the screws and slap it right on the bottom cover. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you did, click the like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws and we should be set to go.